Hello, good afternoon. I'm Lutra FM bringing you another fake football shirt video. A stupidly um, put replica shirt in one of my previous videos. It's not replica, replica is completely different to fake. So, this just to clarify, this video and the other previous videos I've done have been for fake football shirts, not replicas. Okay, just want to get that straight because I don't want people watching these videos and then thinking they're getting authentic shirts when they're not. They're fake football shirts. Um, this one is not. This one I just got in a mystery box and I'm really happy with this. This would come from um, a website called Enigma Football Shirts. Um, they're also known as Mystery Football Shirts for You, just to, in case you order from that website. I ordered it from Mystery Football Shirts for You. It came in an Enigma box. So that's how I've come to the realization they're the same company. Anyway, I got this Nantes, uh, Nantes shirt. I, I think that's how you pronounce them. Nancy's home shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. Look how colourful it is. I love the green. Sorry, I know this is not a good. I know this is not good looking at my belly, but look at this. Look at this green. I love this. Um, and it was. I've looked online. I mean, the box cost me about thirty quid, um, plus postage. And um, this 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 is valued about sixty quid. So I've got more than my money's worth with this one. It's a beautiful top. I'm not. I'm not going to sell it. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool top. And then I got another. From surprise shirts who usually give me obscure teams but they know what i like i like obscure teams i like bright colors um weird patterns and they've given me this one um they're a team called kadoxen uh imps they're a non-league welsh team look at the pattern on that look at that it's a beautiful shirt isn't it there in the back like that. that's a beautiful shirt and it fits me nicely as well so yeah i'm really happy and that that on the official website their official website um the the production fc uh they're selling it's there it's the season just gone away shirt and they sent it for 36 pounds and the, the box cost me like 30 quid as well i think they usually cost about 30 to 35 quid each mystery box so i broke even on that which is better than what i usually have done in the past so both enigma football slash mystery shirt mystery football shirts for you and surprise shirts double thumbs up um i have done a review video on that so hopefully you've already watched it but if you haven't sorry for spoiling it for you but today we are going to be uh, opening some so basically what i've done is um i ordered some shirts from soccer free again and they do mystery shirts for like five six quid or something like that plus postage so i ordered 10 again um Three of them I've already had before or from, from the previous order I had with them or a different order I had with a different supplier. So if you are a 4XL in a fake shirt, so basically I, I'm i like a 50 inch waist. So if you're like a 50 inch waist, uh, like myself or slightly less, um, then I'm giving free shirts away. How you get one of these shirts is one, Ideally, I need you to be from the UK. If you're not from the UK and you're happy to PayPal me the postage cost, I'll I'll happily send you the shirt then. Um, and obviously, um, what I want you to do is I want you to watch the video all the way to the end, and then I want you to comment. Um, I want you to comment every shirt on there today, one after the other. I want you to list the list the shirts that you saw, so I know that you've watched the video to the end. Um, because it would help me to get the watch time up on my watch hours up on my YouTube, and then the first one to comment with the correct lineup, um, I will then um, ask you. I will reply to your comment. We'll figure out how to communicate with each other, probably through email, and then I will ask your address, and then I will sort out posting out your shirt that you've won. So hopefully, you know, you might get a good shirt. Um, but I'll show you the shirts that are available at the end as well. So that'll keep you intrigued. So yeah, so just let me know one way or another in the comment section. Um, I might do a few more of these because I'm starting to get a hell of a lot of shirts now. But you have to be quite a big guy like me. Um, but us big guys, we know how hard it is to find football shirts. Um, and especially fake ones as well because a lot of the supplies are only doomed to a certain size. So right. Anyway, I'm rambling on too much. I'll be back in a sec with the first shirt right so the first shirt i've got is a beautiful ajax shirt already still in the packaging um 
It's white, which is annoying. I don't like wearing white because they stain easily. But I love this pattern. Um, I'm going to stand up in a second. But yeah, you can see, look at that for a beautiful pattern. Look at that. I love IX shirts, me. Um, I've got a Bob Marley tribute one, and I've got this other one that I, that I recently reviewed as well, and I really like it. So I'm going to try and collect a few more IX shirts. Not too bothered about their home shirts because they basically like, like Real right Madrid, they're basically the same shirt every season. Would be a slightly different sponsor, or maybe, but. Yeah, so let's see what this one looks like on me. This actually fits quite nicely, by the way. I'm quite surprised. The only downside is it's a bit short on length, but it's not like it's not that bad. I've had shirts way worse than that, um, and it feels different to a normal football shirt. I don't know what it's like. It's got the harder texture, but not uncomfortable. It's weird to explain. Anybody who has got this shirt will probably tell, will know what I'm on about. But yeah, like I said, there. Uh, um, um, stitched on. This is obviously glued on. Like I said before, if you, when it comes to any football shirt, whether it's fake or authentic, the best way to wash them is do a quick wash on your washing machine. Mine's only for 15 minutes. Turn the shirts inside out before you put in it. Only put washing detergent. Don't put fabric softener in there. And dry them off on the line or on the clothes horses. Don't dry them in the tumble dryer. And that is the best way to preserve like things like this or if you've got names and numbers on the back. Um, I purposely don't bother with names and numbers because just because they're more likely to get taken off in the wash. But yeah, really nice shirt. I'm really happy with this one so far. So that's a good soccer for you doing really well. I say Caraco. Caraco. There we go. That's a nation in. Oh. Um, I can't remember which continent it is. It's not. It's not Europe though. Even though they've got a lot of Dutch. Um, Dutch. Like a Dutch people in that country, I just can't remember where it is. North America, maybe, but I don't know. Not North America. Uh, Asia, Asia, maybe. I think they're in the same continent as Australia and New Zealand, but Oceania, maybe. I don't know. Right, I've got it probably completely wrong. I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt. Right, so I got really excited when I first saw this one, thinking it was an Argentina shirt, but it's not. It's a Nottingham Forest shirt. And again, white. I know it's got blue stripes. Um, I did. I did email Soccer Free specifically saying, "Can you not send me the shirts that you sent me last time? Because I don't want duplicates. And can you not send me any any white shirts, preferably?" And they said they can't. Um, like they can't because the supplier they use, they can't like ask for specific instructions. So I might not order any more from Soccer Free for a while. Um, simply on the basis is. I might end up getting duplicates, but then again, might be all right because they might end up being good as a giveaway. But it's a cool shirt, isn't it? I don't think I remember not not on forest wearing this. Um, let me know in the comment section if you're not on forest man. Let me know which season this is. Is it is it the season's just gone bird shirt or something? I don't ever remember wearing them. I don't ever remember them wearing it. I have got the home shirt, um, which I really like. So hopefully this will fit me just as just as well as the home shirt. But we'll soon find out in a second. Um. It fits me all right. It's a bit snug, but it's all right. Like I said, it is what it is. Um, Adidas are usually pretty good. Even the fake shirts fit pretty good compared to other shirts. Um, the next shirt, for example, I don't know what the... I don't think it's Adidas, so I'm not looking forward to that one. But yeah, looks pretty good. Um, I'll probably get loads of people thinking it's an Argentina shirt and get very confused, so that'll make me laugh. Um, but yeah, I, I like, the, I like the, the fact that it's not normal stripes. They're like, ooh, like this, ooh, whatever. That way, sorry, I'm looking at it. There you go, swirly like that. Um, yeah, right then, let's move on to the next shirt. Two seconds, right? So, this one's a Chelsea Knight shirt. Um, I don't again, I don't remember Chelsea ever wearing this. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it might be a third, third shirt. I like the pattern, it's very, uh, very like sci fi type. Um, I quite, is it geometric pattern? I'm, th I'm thinking, I can't remember, but it's a pretty. Pretty cool looking shirt, like the Chelsea bird. Like I said, I don't particularly like wearing uh, any shirts from top teams and England. I don't mind lower down the Premiership, like Nottingham Forest and stuff like that. I quite like a few Arsenal shirts, so I tend to wear them. Um, but I don't particularly like wearing Chelsea shirts. But this is pretty good. I like this shirt, so I will probably wear this. 
Um, I have a, a thing if I have any Man City or Liverpool shirts, I tend to give them away. I gave a Liverpool shirt to my mom, whose stepdad was a massive Liverpool fan who passed away two years ago. So it was nice for her to have it because it reminded her of him. So she could wear it like as a um, over, over shirt in bed, went like a nighty type of thing in bed. So yeah, but yeah, like this, pretty cool. See what it looks like on me. Um, I don't have much luck with night shirts when it comes to the fake ones, but we'll soon see. Yeah, so this is too tight on me. Um, it, it's it's a bit restricted, mate. Yeah, it's but no, it's just not happening. So this one will be available as one of the shirts I'm going to give away. There'll be four shirts now, not three. Like I said, if you're outside the UK, as long as you don't mind PayPal me the money to cost the delivery, that's all you got to pay for. Then I'll happily send you the shirt. If you're in the UK, it's only going to cost me a couple quid. I don't mind sending it to you. So, um, but yeah, it's just too tight on me. So this would probably fit somebody who is an XL, um, more than a two XL. Obviously, if you end up getting one of the shirts, um, then let me know if you want me to measure it, and then you know if the definite will fit you or not. Um, so there'll be four shirts. I said then there'll be four shirts now. So first four people to leave a comment with every single shirt that I reviewed in this video today in order, um, they will get the first, whoever they get to it first will get the first choice in which shirt they want. The shirts that are available, the, the three other shirts available will be coming up in a minute after I've done the other shirts. Um, so you'll see for yourself which one you want. Let me know which shirt you want and then send me like in the comment section. Give me your email address if you don't mind, or I can give you my email address and you can email me. So, you, you know, because um, obviously people might be a bit worried about leaving their email address on a comment section on a YouTube video. So I'm happy to give you my email address. Um, anyway, right. Um, it's all right. Like I said, it's a nice shirt, but nice shirts, when it comes to the fake ones, they're just too tight on me. That's why I prefer always getting Adidas shirts because they fit me better. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt in the video. Right, here we are. Here's the next shirt. Um, Ireland. So, my uncle was born in Ireland. Um, I am half Scottish, half English. But uh, I do always, I always like room for the home nations. Um, and I love this shirt, to be honest. I love the, green, I love the colour green, I love the badge, I love like, the logo there. That one, this one here. Um, got a little Irish flag on the back. But yeah, it's a really cool shirt. Um, I like the colour. I could wear this any time of the year and it still look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, not nice shit. So this one's an Adidas one, so hopefully we won't have any issues, but we'll soon find out in a second. Right, so here it is on me. It fits me nicely. Um, feels comfortable. I like the material, whatever they used. It feels quite nice. Um, it's not. It's a little bit. Obviously, it's always going to be tight on me because unless I get like a six XL. Um, but I'm working on it. Like I said, I'm continuously working on it. Unfortunately, I put on a couple of pounds last week because I went to a wedding and there was just ridiculous amounts of food and I just, I caved into my temptation. So, um, there was like a whole, whole row of Krispy Kreme donuts. I only had two, but it all adds up. Um, and that's so, yeah, it may, has an impact on me. I only have to look at a donut and I put weight on, it's ridiculous. But yeah. Anyway, it's a nice shirt, Adidas. So you know what you're getting. I love that logo. Um, yeah, like I said, right now, let's see what the next shirt is. Right, so next shirt is an Adidas, luckily, um, Germany shirt. Um, I, I've always wanted a Germany shirt, so I'm quite happy with this one. God knows which one this is. Uh, I don't think it's their recent one, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it's quite, I mean, it's annoying it's white, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I just won't wear them often and i won't wear them when i'm about to eat something so because i know as soon as i eat anything it will just get onto the shirt and permanently stain it so but yeah like i said nice shirt nice logo there as well they do a really good job um getting the logos in the right places and that you know like i said you would not know this was a fake shirt really um there on the back as well so all right let's see what it looks like on me two seconds here we are. Uh, white, never flattering on a big guy like me. Um, but yeah, like I said, see on there. Just do a close up of the logos again. I love the, I love that here. The, the colours here is just very nice. You know what you're getting with a German shirt. So uh, yeah, 
like I said, very nice. I won't wear it often, but um, especially if Germany are playing England in a friendly, I bet not. But yeah, very nice. All right, let's see what the next one is. Before I carry on with the next shirt, I've noticed a fatal flaw in my plan. So I asked everybody to leave a comment with every single shirt in that order. But there's nothing to stop the next person just copy and pasting that and then putting it in there. So what I'm going to do in the description of this video, I'm going to put my email address in there. And the first four people to email me the list in order of the shirts that I've reviewed today, um, we will then um, talk about where you, if you're from the UK and stuff like that, we'll send, just send me your address and send me which shirt that you want. So the first four people to email me at luchafm at outlook.com. I will put it in the description just in case. Um, but yeah, luchafm at outlook.com. The first four people to email me. Um, we'll get the shirt. It doesn't necessarily matter if you're all the same size. If you just want to get it to then sell, even though it's a fake shirt, obviously I don't care what you do with it. Um, you know, or give it to somebody else, I don't know. But yeah, the first four people, um, they will get the, sh the, the shirt of their choice. Now, if you have two people that send me an email exactly at the same time with the, 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 the exact shirt that they want and it's the same shirt, then we'll figure it out one way or another. But um, yeah, so anyway, here's on to the next shirt. So just remind, just remember that. Uh, email me luchafm at outlook.com. I think that's my email address. I will double check. Um, but yeah, it'll be in the description. So if I've got it wrong in the video, it'll be in the description. But yeah, here's a Holland shirt. It is nice. So this might be another shirt available in the giveaway. Um, it might not fit me. Because I've, I've chucked away a couple of these shirts that didn't fit me. And in hindsight, I should have gave them away um, to the people who watch the videos. So I'm going to start doing that instead. But yeah, nice shirt. I would have preferred it if it was the home shirt. Um, but I like the pattern. I like the colour theme. So um, let's see what it looks like on me. Probably won't fit me, but we'll see. Right, so um, it fits me okay. It fits me better than the Chelsea shirt. But it's a bit, it's just, it's just not very flattering, is it? So... This is going to be another shirt. So we don't have five shirts available now for the giveaway. When I'm generous to you lot, it's going to cost me 15 plus pounds in postage. So I hope, I hope you get a lot of people watching this video because you could potentially get a free shirt for literally just watching the video. You can't really argue with that one. But yeah, um, here I am in the shirt, showing it off. Um, I have had a shower, by the way. So if you do end up getting the shirt, just know that I'm not as sweaty as I was earlier on this morning when I went to the gym. I am clean, so don't panic. Um, this is a brand new shirt anyway. What I recommend you do though is obviously any shirt that you get, even if it's brand new, sealed up, I always wash them before I wear them. They might have been in a, they might have been in the factory for months or, or you know. But yeah, nice shirt. But it's just, it's just a bit tight on me. And I've got, I've got so many shirts now that um, I'll never wear it and it'll just gather dust and take up room in, the, in my room. My wardrobe is small enough as it is, so yeah. So this one will be one I'm giving away. Um, and then we've got we've got one more shirt that I'm gonna keep for myself, and then we've got the remaining three shirts that will be available in the giveaway. I won't be trying on these three shirts, um, because I already have them, so I don't need to wear them to show them off. But I will hold them up in the bag, so I might even take them out of the bag and show you. So yeah, back in a sec. Right, so this is the last shirt that I'm not um, that I'm going to be keeping for myself. It's a beautiful Italy shirt. Um, it's got the green, white, and blue stripes trim on there. I love this shirt. I, I've always wanted. I love Italian shirts, but um, I would I would prefer a, a cap one. But they're vintage now, so they won't fit me because the size was too small. It's a shame. So hopefully one day cap will go back to making Italy shirts, and I can get I can get one. But yeah, here's it is on there. So right, it's because it's added us, it should be fine, but we'll back in a second to see what it looks like on me. Right, so here it is on me. Um just get a close up to the logos. Loving the trim, like I said, a lot of colour as well. Feels nice. It's a little bit tight on me, but it's I can wear it and you know, not I'm in like I said, it's a bit tight on me, but um hopefully like I said, eventually some of this belly fat will go away eventually. More cardio I'll do, so it will fit me a lot better. But yeah, um, that's it really. Pretty straightforward. So, well, 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the shirts that are available. We'll go through which I think is the best one so far out of the three. And this is an AC Milan Puma shirt from probably a couple years ago, maybe last season, this season, I can't remember. Just gone for it. Um, I won't be putting it on. I won't be putting it on. Um, I will get rid of all this though. My dog's going to be very happy with all this. With this. Right. Um, so this is it. So this is one of the shirts that I'm giving away. I will do a recap of the shirts that are available um, to give away before I end this video. But yeah, I've already got this one. Um, there's this one. Bear with us. Bit of the rubbish fell on the floor. So I was having a lovely time, but I wouldn't have had a lovely time picking up every little piece, piece of it. So that's the AC Milan one. So that's the one that's available. I'll just go through the other two that are available. So we've got this Holland shirt, knife Holland shirt. Um, I would say it's probably more ideal for some of these, like a 1 or 2XL. Um, 1XL might be a little bit big on you actually. So if you're a 2XL, this will probably fit you better. Um, I've said I've got like a 52 inch belly uh, waist, sorry. So as you can see, some of these are quite tight on me. I don't think you want that. But if you're a, a, a big guy but not as big as me, then these are probably really good for you. And then we've got this Chelsea one that I've already showed you. Um, and then the next one is an Inter Miami home shirt. No, no messy or anything on the back. So uh, you'll have to get that done separately. But if you want it, I won't risk it with these fake shirts. But we all know what this one is, one of the most modern, famous shirts out. This is last season's. I have got last season's and this season's as well. Um, just show you in a sec. Just getting rid of all the rubbish before my lucky dog back to the to use it. Yeah, the tags will be kept on these. There is one of the, I think it's either the, the, the Netherlands or the Chelsea one I have. I did rip the tag out because I did, at the time I thought I was going to keep it for me, but um, yeah, like I said, pretty straightforward. Nice. I love the collar on this. Um, I have, like I said, I already have this one. So there's this one available as well. And then the last one's a bit of a rubbish one. Unless you're, if you're a Nottingham Forest fan, then you'll love this one. So this one is um, last season's home shirt. I've already got, uh, this is the third time I've had this shirt. Um, I, I got rid of another one, I chucked it away, so I thought I'd give this one away. But it's a box standard one, fits me nicely. I've already got it, I wear this one uh, quite a few times already. It fits nicely, got the Premier League badge on there. Um, so yeah, these are all, they say 4XL on here, but obviously take that for a pinch of salt, because on a normal shirt, I am a 3XL. And that's a 4XL, and they're, they're literally too tight on me. This, I think this is like, I think a 4XL is like the same as an authentic 2XL, basically. That's how you've got to take it out. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to sit down. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, like I said, let me know. Lucha, Lucha FM, L U C H A um, FM at Outlook.com. Um, like I said, let me know. If you're having trouble emailing me, let me know. Uh, send me a comment. Uh, I'm also on Facebook as well as um, RJ Beckham. Um, so you should be able to find me on there. Um, if you need to, if you need, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll leave my email address and my Facebook details. So you can add me and send me a message on Facebook or just email me while it is easy. But we've got five shirts for free. Like I said, if you're outside the UK, if you have no issue paying for the postage, then I'm happy to send it because it, because it might cost a fair bit. So look into it first. I'm happy for you to buy the postage label first. Um, just send me if you just email me the 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 stick the the, the label. I've got a label printer. I can just print it off and stick it on, and it's good to go. So yeah. Anyway, right. I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. But yeah, let me know. Email me. The, the list of shirts in the order that I've done, if, well, you don't need to necessarily do them in order, just do any order that you want, as long as you've listed all 10, that's fine. 
and um, can you try and send me a screenshot of you watching the video to the end, or or like a thing to tell me, like a, on your uh, data section if you can, if you if you know how to do that, if you don't, don't worry about it. I just want to try and get my watch hours up, so this is a way of trying to improve on that. So I want this to be one of the the best viewed videos I've ever done. Hopefully, by giving shirts away, that will help with that. So um, some of them are a good shirts, some of them are duds, but you know it is what it is. Anyway, right, on that note, I'm rambling on. I'm going to go. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back up soon. All the best. Bye.